My name is Jody James, and I'm the Warning Coordination Meteorologist at the National Weather Service office here in Lubbock, Texas. I've been a forecaster at the Lubbock National Weather Service office since 1994, and I'm in my 13th year as the Warning Coordination Meteorologist. So I work with partners across the board in terms of uh, operational weather with first responders in terms of spotter training, with agricultural groups, and then of course with the emergency management community. And uh, in all of those relationships, I ask those uh, partners if they know about the West Texas Mesonet, and almost invariably, they not only know about it, but they use it uh, in their operations. When I first came into the National Weather Service in the early 90s, uh, a lot of the observation networks in terms of surface observations were very sparse, mostly at airports and sometimes here in West Texas, 75 to 100 miles between observations. So we as forecasters and operational meteorologists uh, had to only interpolate or guess sometimes uh, what the weather was doing, uh, for example, between Amarillo and Lubbock or uh, Lubbock and Clovis, Cannon Air Force Base. And as the West Texas Mesonet began to fill in those gaps, uh, it was a, really a boon for us operationally. Uh, not only did we know what's going on, uh, but we could also forecast wind shifts, uh, see what was happening with uh, severe thunderstorms and what kind of winds those were producing, which in turn helps people downstream uh, of that thunderstorm. So the impact has been uh, huge with us. And the other thing it's allowed us to do is develop a close relationship with uh, Texas Tech in the Atmospheric Science Group and also uh, the, uh, the folks out at Reese at the West Texas Mesonet. Uh, we've been able to uh, develop a relationship with students, research projects, and we've also been very actively involved uh, in helping Wes and the folks at the Mesonet to put in the uh, new stations to find uh, landowners that might be interested in a particular location. And then also we provided personnel to help maintain uh, those stations and fix uh, some of the equipment when it breaks. Uh, and it's just uh, impacted, I think, both tech and, and our office in a huge way and allowed us to uh, uh, collaborate in ways we could have never dreamed of before the Mesonet. What I've seen working with ag partners in terms of soil temperature and uh, soil humidity, moisture levels, uh, it's been, uh, they use that along with other data sources tremendously, and it, been, it uh, hugely benefits their uh, agricultural operations for those ag producers. It's also something that uh, a lot of our spotters use, uh, and emergency management officials in particular counties, they can see what's going on, see how much it rained, uh, and get a, uh, sometimes a heads up as severe weather approaches their area. Uh, of knowing, for example, uh, what the rainfall rates are and what kind of winds to expect. And that, and that positively feeds back uh, in real time for those spotter groups that are there to make their communities safe. Well, as I mentioned, uh, there's been a, uh, a lot of research. Uh, it's allowed us to get to know and interact with those uh, university professors that might be engaged in uh, different types of uh, research that many of which use the Mesonet as part of that. Uh, we participated in their presentations that they do one day a week during a semester and provided uh, uh, in, uh, input into what we do, which, and again, we always benefit with knowing uh, what the latest research is, and especially those that impact uh, our business, which is operational meteorology. The Texas Tech Mesonet, to my knowledge, was one of the first, uh, first few Mesonet networks to go uh, in across the country. And, um, you know, still to this day in, in 2020, there's probably only a handful of offices that benefit from such a dense meso network of surface observations. Um, and other offices see the kind of uh, mesonet we have here. And, and honestly, sometimes they're jealous. They'd love to have the, uh, um, the operational network to, uh, to see what's going on, for it to benefit them when they're under a weather watch in real time. So we've been very, very unfortunate, and I think uh, fortunate for that. And I think it's made a profound impact on uh, not just our office, but the entire West Texas community across all user groups, construction, agricultural, 
uh, the emergency management community uh, and others. So it's uh, it's been it's been great to work with the folks at Texas Tech and the and the folks at the Mesonet, and it's really made the job for me working with partners, but also uh, occasionally filling in as an operational forecaster. Still, uh, it's made my job much easier and much more fun to have that tremendous data source that has benefited us all in the weather community.